This is another shell core job. This one's a little different in that there's actually a thread in the little shell core mould and therefore the core has a thread and therefore the resulting casting has a thread. It's a sort of a, a thread that's a bit like that you'd find on a big glass bottle I guess. But the only thing that one has to do is swirl a little core mould around like that to make certain that the sand flicks up right into the threads. <clears throat> now as usual with this sort of work you wait about 15 maybe 20 seconds uh, and then tip the mould uh, upside down to get the excess core sand out, that's about right. And I usually tap it and now we have a hollow core. Strike it off level, put the top heating plate on. I usually just go around this edge here with a just very lightly with a file to remove the little bit of flash that occurs there in the mould. Sweep it off, particularly the parting lines, and that's another one done. It's the usual two and a half minute uh, cure time. And we just have to patiently wait. Well that's about uh, uh, 2 minutes 15, by the time I get it out it'll be 2.30. Good smart crack on this steel plate here seems to help get the die free. And away we go for another. Restart the timer. Here we go, that's about 15 seconds. Every now and then I like to uh, weigh the finished core because I've found out if they're uh, too thick and therefore too heavy they are going to be a lot of trouble to get them out of the eventual casting and if they're too thin, therefore of course too light, um, they will tend to bend like that uh, when I pour the metal in on top of them. 187 grams, I like them between 180 and 200 so that one's fine. <coughs> there we go. Well that's 40 of them made. Only another 160 to go. <clears throat> Surprising how long two and a half minutes is when you're standing there doing nothing while it passes. Not long enough to do anything in, just long enough to annoy you. Close enough. Here's another view of the process. That should be about right. Time's up.
sometimes it doesn't hurt just to go around the bottom of this with a brush that's been dipped in a bit of graphite powder keeps them coming free nice and easily Hundred and eighty, hundred and ninety grams, it's not too bad. Now, I don't know how close I'm gonna get here, but with a bit of luck you should be able to get some sort of a look at the thread. It's not too bad. I will actually put a um, brush on a mould wash on that thread before I make the casting, and we'll see that a bit later. And that will smooth it up even a bit more. This is the next stage in preparation of these shell cores. They get a coat of a mould wash uh, just to smooth up the threads. This is one of the advantages of shell cores that you can you can handle them like this. Uh, most other methods of making cores, they the cores would no be nowhere near as strong as this. You couldn't you couldn't sort of treat them like this at all. They'd break and bits of rubbish would come off them. I don't like to have the wash up here on the section I'm now wiping it off because it does cause problems in the casting later. This is the first of two paints that go on. This is a this paint is a commercial product. It's made by Fasico, uh, and from memory, it's called Isomol 185. This is the second lot of paint that's put on these cores. This is a chill coat called Mole Coat 15, again made by Fasico. Uh, and I put it on this face of the core here where the metal first hits and particularly down in here where there are what will be little standouts in the casting in order to get a good looking finish there. If I don't put this material on the metal can penetrate the core and be quite rough in that area. It's important that I get right down into these little holes quite well. However, I don't want to completely cover the top of this core. If I do, I can suffer misrun in the casting. When air that gets trapped in this area here um, won't get out through the core properly. This is a bit of a messy business to be honest. This uh, <laughs> this material is quite, quite messy to work with. <laughs> 